conditions from striking to grappling to wrestling and, and so on and so forth. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three three-minute rounds in the Havoc Fighting Championship Lightweight Division. And it's brought to you by RJ Fight Gear and Shaq Interiors. And introducing first, please welcome, uh, in the blue corner, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, and representing Black Sheep MMA, he stands 5'9". Weighed in at 152 pounds, he is making his amateur debut. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Terrence Animal! Holstrom. And in the red corner, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, and representing Arashido MMA. He stands five foot eight. He weighed in at 155 pounds. He also is making his amateur debut. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Pico Sananico. The man in charge of the action when it starts inside the cage is Mr. Adam Cheeto. And while Terrence Allstrom is enjoying the, uh, the crowd support this evening, I'm going to give the dispassionate advantage to, uh, to, to Pico. Uh, he's looking very dialed in and very, very uh, on the edge of a performance zone here tonight. And, and that's the kind of thing I like to see from an athlete. Uh, a little bit of a, a neutrality in their appearance and, and not carrying too much emotional baggage into the ring. Pico now carrying his, carries his hands nice and high, tucking that chin, looking very, very sharp in the early goings on. But it's Alstrom now who's landing the early blows. And he needs to watch out as he fires that low right kick. He's dropping his hands every time. And, and this is the kind of this is the kind of showboating that uh, could be a could be a game changer and, and make for a, a little bit of a bad night. Turning Pico now again into the fence and, and proving me wrong, perhaps, and, and muscling his opponent around. But he looks to pull Pico away from the cage. Pico falls. And then finds himself right on top in a bit of a half guard position. And he switches now to a mount, but Allstrom's looking to. Pico showing tremendous base as Allstrom looks to, to, to find himself a little bit of a reroll there and assume the top position, but Pico's denying him. Keeping his base nice and low. His feet underneath his opponent. Alstrom is all but immobilized here. The, a minute 43 into the first round. Now coming from Arashio, you know that it, if he's in the cage tonight that uh, his coaches believe in every aspect of his game. But uh, Arashio has a very, very, very strong ground game, a very, very clinical approach to to their Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as well as, as their wrestling now. Pico now in a little bit of a schoolboy headlock position here. Dropping the right side of his torso. And this is a this is a, a terrible position to be in if you're Terrence Allstrom. Uh, not such a great position to be in if you're if you're Pico Sanicom either. There's uh, not much damage you can do for here unless you're working for a submission, which he is. But he's exposing himself in, in a lot of different ways here. And all it would take is for for Allstrom. And I have completely dropped the ball. I missed the uh, the submission. Let's see if we can catch this on the replay. I'm thinking uh, might have pulled off a little bit of a key lock here. If we can get that replay up, the sooner the better. That'd be nice. Both fighters sharing a little bit of a cordial exchange, which we always like to see with our fighters. With their backs turned, it's tough to see exactly what was the finishing hold here. 
And yeah, I'm absolutely right. Pressing that arm down into his right leg, into the crook of his right knee, and finding himself a little bit of a key lock. What a terrible position to be in. You can do like tremendous amount of damage to the shoulder and to the elbow joint. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Adam Cheadle steps in at 2 minutes, 19 seconds uh, of the very first round for your winner. By submission, Tamora in the red corner, Pico Sanico. Sanico absolutely elated in his victory, keeping it fundamental.